It's gonna be great. Ba -doop -ba -doop. Okay. How? How? How did he get that throw? Did I just throw like half the team down the hallway? I swear to God. Cause that shrink thing is so annoying. So much, you have been the most gracious of hosts. That was mental cover for you. Molites do not compute. Thank you so much. You have been the most gracious of hosts. I am a human just like you. I swim as For some reason I thought I was right here. Oh my god, they killed Quan. It just goes through walls? Are you serious? Help. Never 
hotel for you. These molides do not compute. Josh can get that far. Uh, it's not very good. Saw that one coming. <sighs> Don't you dare hurt Major Tomcat. Oh my god. This fight is not going well. <laughs> of course he went right after me. He half my health to one shot. Jesus. The misclicks are real today. Oh. We killed our own pet. Morgan, why? Wait Morgan, a why? Wait is all of you. <gasps> well, Josh can get new ones. That's that's all I got, chat.
Jesus Christ. What was this? We legit have to like go to the doctors after this. I don't know what this fight was, but it was awful. And we lost our pets, so I'm going to need new pets now. On a desk, you find a chaotic mess of ancient dot matrix printouts, scientific journals, and dog-eared books. Notes are scrawled upon them in wild, childish hand. A computer awaits a button press. Step away. F5. The computer analyzes both sensors in a large volume of data fills the screen. A small thermal printer begins to spew out random reams of information in paper. The text is thick with mind-numbing scientific jargon, charts, graphs, electric, or cryptic, electrical, and anatomical diagrams, and some printout reference books and notes on the table. Quoting in our time, <laughs> oh god, this continues on, but one component remains the same. Name on every title page: Professor Irwin John Finster. Every range of note. Ranger knows the name of Irwin John Finster, director of the infamous Project Darwin, and an old enemy of the Ra Desert Rangers. Rosie's Tenant Irv has some explaining to do. The readouts and graphics have flatlined now the clones are dead. Given specific knowledge and the right resources, it might be possible to make more. Um, hard ass. Let's upgrade that. Yeah, thanks. Attributes, once again. <sighs> Speed it continues to be a problem for Emmy Boy. This is Josh's turn. I think that him having more awareness would probably be nice, but honestly, he's so damn slow. Lock picking could be pretty nice. Actually, lock picking is going to be incredibly valuable. Um, for her, it's all awareness. Going into skills, let's do small arms, because that's her job for me. And actually, I think they just, no, level six. Ah. Apparently we didn't go in here for some reason. Oh, we need new cats. Perfect. So, what'd you find in apartment three? Was he making bombs like I said? He wasn't there and it's weirder than Later that. How? 
Your lieutenant maybe associated with a dangerous scientist. He has a cloning machine and we killed several copies yeah, of him. Yeah, you were right. That's weirder than making bombs. Can I at least go in and clean up? Um, it's not safe in there. Please hold, please stay out until we find him. Oh, his security deposit's not going to cover the repairs, is it? If he wasn't in his apartment, then he's probably at the bookshop in Market Square. Look for a skinny guy, always wearing a lab coat. Let me know what happens. Boy, am I glad that she called. This is the whole thing. <laughs> It's like, oh, well, this is insanity. Oops, there goes gravity. Oop, my uh, identity. Oh, that reminds me. I should definitely pop up Josh really quick. Oh, perfect. Yeah. Okay. Th this gun is just... Okay. Sorry. No, no, cloning! You know, using your own genetic material to make a new human. Oh, you mean fucking! Yes, I've got plenty of books about fucking. What? No! No, not fucking! Cloning! It's how you make new humans without sex! Jesus, why would anyone want to do that? A tall, lanky man is looking over the books on the merchant's stand, muttering nervously to himself. Don't move. Keep your hands where we can see them. What? Who, who are you? What do you want? We're Desert Rangers. We've been helping around out. Desert Rangers. You've been helping out around Colorado Springs. Is your name Irv? I, I, I'm Irv. What do you want? We've had some papers in your apartment written by Erwin John Finster. Is that your real name? I... Uh... Looks around nervously. Please don't tell the marshals, but I'm one of his clones. Unfortunately, I'm fourth generation, at least. So, I'm not as smart as the original. Smart enough to, to use Dr. Finster's notes to get the cloning machine working again, but... But not smart enough to make good quality clones. I can't even make one as good as myself. And I'm not that good. Bits of me don't work very well at all. You were attacked in your apartment by a few guys who look just like you. Any explanation for that? Oh, no. Did you kill them? I'm afraid we had to. Sorry. Oh, poor clones. They... They never really acted right. I, I, I screwed up the formula somehow. Tell us more. Well... Well, I, I guess I'm kind of afraid to make friends the normal way, so I made them an abnormal way. Only, I didn't do it very well. The, when they came out of the chamber, there was something wrong with them. They were really, really stupid and, and really, really crazy. And they, they just got crazier day by day. If, if I hadn't run out of the apartment today, they would have killed me. 
I'm a bad father. I'm a bad, bad father. What do you about Dr. Finster? Oh, Dr. Finster was a genius. He's the only person in the world to have mastered the cloning of humans. He... He may have become a little paranoid at the end, but that doesn't lessen any of the good he gave to the world. Until he decided all humans had to die. He was a real humanitarian. Spinster alive? The original? No, n not anymore. But I guess, in a way, as long as I'm alive, he is too, because I'm him, aren't I? He pales suddenly and swallows. Or, uh, I mean, I'm him but not the part of him that wanted to wipe out the entire human race, right? Yeah, I, I wasn't, I wasn't suggesting, no. You know the whole nature versus nurture debate, how some things are genetic and some things you learn? Well, that killing everybody part of him, that was nurture. He, he wasn't born that way and, 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 uh, and neither am I, I swear. You believe me, don't you? Uh, we believe you're not smart enough to threaten the humorous. It's true. I'm not. I'm totally not. So, you're not gonna arrest me? We're not. In fact, if you bring a cloning machine, you're welcome at Ranger headquarters if you use a scientist like you're you. You're gonna let me be a real scientist? This is the best! I I'm so grateful. I'll do good work for you. I promise. Thank you so much. <laughs> okay. Um. Um. Okay, so here's what we're gonna do. We're gonna head back to, to the apartments after we heal. You ever notice that the statue's eyes follow you wherever you go? Uh, nope. That's kind of creepy. Yeah, always watching when I'm shopping and walking home. There it is. <laughs> Great stuff. Look at him, he's so tired. He's so sleepy all the time. Doctor, doctor, tell me the Three news. Sharp. <sighs> what do you need, Rangers? That's what you have a seat. Rangers, thanks again for letting me work for you. This is so exciting. Glad to have you. You enjoying the work? I I am so happy. I'm learning so much. All my life I wanted to be a scientist. 
But all I could do was read the books and dream. And now I can actually do things. It's incredible. What are you working on? A time machine. Did I say that one already? Can you call one uh, of us? Yes. Theoretically, I can have the machine take your genetic material and run the process. Uh, but, um, no guarantee what comes out the other end. I did make a few tweaks to the process, though, so whatever it is, it probably won't be so angry. Probably. Never mind. That's probably a good idea. I think Doc Parker. He's wonderful. He's almost as smart as Dr. Finster, but without all the, um, you know, evil. Things are so long. Thank you, Rangers. Travel back to downtown Colorado Springs. Awesome! Awesome, 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 yeah! Look at this wee little dark jar. So cute. <laughs> Read the last issue of the Colorado Patriot? Oh, real funny cartoon. I was gonna ask about the articles. But... Rangers hail the heroes! Dorsey's flee the city! Jarvis is cutest dog. Chat. Jarvis is cutest dog. Welcome back to our apartment complex. We've been through like eight times. Good stuff. Wait, hold on. Where is she? Oh, she's right here. I literally walked Any by. Any word on the loony and number three yet, Rangers? Yeah, we found her. If you want to be coming out, you can clean his room now. About time. It's gonna take me a week to clean up that mess. What was his deal anyway? Oh boy. Um. He's a clone, and he was afraid of being found and arrested, so he hid in his room to make. And made out of clones for friends. Oh, that's kind of sad. What did you do with him? Uh, he's going to work in our medical lab. Well, how about that? I'm glad to hear it. Never wished the poor man ill, just didn't want him here. Thank you, Rangers. Here's a little something for taking care of the problem and tying it up in a pretty bow. So long. Oh, my sciatica. Be seeing you, Rosie. Won't you be my neighbor? Won't you be mine? Won't you be mine? 